the love of my dear friend, ooh. For the love of a kingdom, ooh. For the love of a holy land, ooh. For the love of my country, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. Let my cool Nigeria, can't nobody take you away. What we got going on? For the love of my country. I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home Ooh. Touch me, shake me, wake me up Love me, hate me Do what you gotta do I really wanna wake up from this nightmare Then my call Nigeria Can nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of our country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home Ooh. Ooh. For the love of mankind Ooh. For the love of freedom Ooh. For the love of Chupu Ooh. For the love of my country I really wanna wake up from this nightmare Then my cool Nigeria Can't nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of a country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home Britain came like a thief in the night Like a thief in the night Nigeria came like a thief in the night Like a thief in the night the boat just came like thieves in the night Mud rose monsters came like a thief To kill and steal and to keep us down Kill baby, kill baby, dry fry oil Dry fry oil, make the world go round Makes me wonder what the hell is going on Why are they killing our people for our oil? Nigeria killing their fans for their land First it was oil, now it's cow colony Mieti Allah, another terror group Fulani hands men killing everywhere Boko Haram too, it's all about the killing 18 terror Come from the north, Nigeria army, never for the war. Killing Bia Francis, all they're ever known for. Killing Bia Francis, all they're ever known for. On armed civilians and safe around them. The war looked the other way like it was nothing. United Nations very hypocritical. They ain't saying shit, they are partners in crime. We're trusting God, so we still see the light. Hey, they are walking my Bia for our spirit. Love them, blessed by God Almighty. Nothing can stop Bia Fry from coming. Not even Britain killing our people. Blood rain, Pierre France, and bloody cold blood. Britain, go back to where you came from. Mom, please don't do what you did on the land. We are freedom town, land of milk and honey. Can nobody take away God from us? Like a thief in the night. Ooh. Oh, dimme boo, you boo. Love of Ikenga, ooh. For the love of our spirit, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. Then my cool Nigeria, can't nobody take you away. What we got going on for the love of our country? I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth. There's no place like home. We are never giving up on our country, Piafra, for no fear of violence, death. War, Britain, how the full of knees or their terror groups. That will not happen, it's never gonna happen. For Biafra is life and freedom herself. On Biafra we stand, we are here. You are now rocking with a king for the love of my country. Biafra featuring DJ Whiskey. Real fans. Holy. Ooh. For the love of my Biafra. Ooh. For the love of our kingdom. Ooh. For the love of a holy land, ooh. For the love of my country, I 
really wanna wake up from this nightmare Then my cool Nigeria Can't nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of our country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth That's no place like home Ooh. Touch me, shake me, wake me up Love me, hate me Do what you gotta do I really wanna wake up from this nightmare Then my call Nigeria Can nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of our country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home This is Biafra Television, exposing the lies. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear friends, friends of dear friends, lovers of freedom all over the world. Welcome to Sunrise Early News Analysis on Biafra Television, a program that has been designed to educate and enlighten you about the happenings in Biafra land, the happenings in the contraption called Nigeria, a program where we preach the gospel of the restoration of Biafra. Of course, we are the indigenous people of Biafra led by Mazu Namdekanu and deputized by Mazu Chimofo. We are here with the mandate to restore the land of the rising sun and we will never capitulate until Biafra is restored. We are reaching from Biafra land this morning. My name is Ngozi Chukwok and with me in the studio is... Bright Uriako. As a bright, good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Because Mazi Bright Uriako will be educating us today uh, as we continue the unmasking of the man in Asubrok. Mazi Bright will be educating us. He will be enlightening us about the happenings. Um, because he'll be attending to some questions we have here this morning. And of course, you will be calling us for five minutes after now. Five minutes after now, you call in to make your contribution. It's very important. Let's know what your take is on what we are discussing here this morning. Now, of course, we have to share this program. We ensure our friends are watching with us, our brothers are listening, everyone is carried along. It's very, very important. Therefore, all you need to do right now is to ensure you share this program. If you're on Facebook, share the program on your timeline share it to your friends if you're on twitter please tweet the program it's very important we are on periscope we are on youtube we are on twitter we are also on facebook and of course our satellite tv so please share the program you can copy the link as well and send it to your friends via whatsapp so that they can as well watch the program with you it's very important and for benefit of those who are in biafra land for benefit of those who have no access to the internet we are on radio biafra land and we are transmitting simultaneously on Radio Biafra. So you tune into Radio Biafra to listen to us. It's very, very important. Once again, you're welcome to today's program, Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. Like I said, we'll keep unmasking the man in Nasarok. We'll keep exposing the evil. We'll keep exposing all the atrocities going on in the contraction called Nigeria. And of course, uh, we are, we've been talking about election boycott, but it's becoming obvious that there is not going to be any election in 2019. We are ready. And of course, we have been, you know, the, the, the evangelism is so hot. The unmasking of the man in Nasarok is... I think there is a heavy panic presently in Asaro. Seriously. Even though they won't come out to say it, but our intelligence reports there are giving us the answers of what is going on there. Of course, uh, the evil contraction called Nigeria is collapsing. and have, uh, The way it is, uh, even the blind can see that there is no Nigeria. 
Nigeria is a mirage. You think you are a Nigerian is because you have lost your identity. It's only those uh, who uh, have loss of identity that claim to be Nigerian. If you know who you are, you will never uh, say you are a Nigerian because you are not. From the foundation, you are not. And of course, the man in Nasarok remains represent the climax of failure for that entity, that evil entity called Nigeria. And that is what it represents. Because if you look at the man in Nasarok, you look at the evil contraction called Nigeria, you discover exactly what Nigeria is. So, you thinking you are a Nigerian, saying you are a Nigerian, it means you don't know who you are. It can only take a man who has suffered loss of identity to say you are a Nigerian. And of course, that is why they can bring a Sudan to sit in Asura or Kana. Today, things have been revealed and of course, uh, uh, to prove, because we the indigenous people of Biafra have proven that we are not the shit hole. We are not the shit hole. We are not the glittering eyes. We are not the shining teeth. We are not people without culture and of course, without moral, uh, life we are human beings we have proven that there is an indigenous people in west africa and of course if the rest of them choose to be animals we are not so that thing in asorok it can only take somebody who have lost every sense of human being to think that there is a president uh, called buari in asorok no that thing in asorok is something from sudan and uh, that is why we are looking at it and you have to also observe and of, as a human being if you are look deep into it and see yourself Talk yourself and pinch yourself if you are still alive if there's blood running in you you will know that that man in Asorok is not buried and of course what we are talking about is failure of identity and of course you see people who don't know who they are identity crisis that is the worst issue in nigeria in the evil contraction called nigeria today because you actually look at those 200 million people why is it that such evil will continue to happen that has been happening and of course you look at how it has come more than a hundred years of amalgamation and all that you see that people are comfortable and they claim to be nigerian and there's no participation there's no government there's no democracy there is nothing that makes you a human being. And you still see people sm suffering and smiling and going everywhere saying they are Nigerian. And in the next uh, 2019, they still say they are going to vote. And you ask yourself, do they really think? Are they human beings? You know, uh, were they imported from somewhere to just occupy this entity? Or what is happening? So you ask yourself question, And that is why we, the indigenous people of Biafra, we are taking our time to check actually if uh, what the kind of life we have is the same that these people have. I think there's a lot of difference. You see, the indigenous people of Biafra they are quite different from these people. So we have to uh, celebrate our identity we have we keep saying it that biafra is our identity we are the indigenous people of biafra and we cannot be nigeria because it takes only a false entity to be called nigeria it takes only a british business center to be called nigeria it takes only a dog to be named the way nigeria is named and it takes only a unique character of course to sit in the seat of power because there is no democracy there is no government of the people for the people and by the people if there was democracy the people would have risen there would have been a revolution there would have been a change and of course we knew that the man in Asorok is not Buhari and the, all the events happening all the uh, 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 expository lectures from Mazin Namdekano have proven it and of course today you see that those in Asorok they are shaking because the attention of the international community have been drawn to it and that is why all their cry today is be careful the world is watching and that is the, the, the new slogan in town that you need to be careful because the international community are watching so they are doing things they have been doing things in the secret and nobody knew it nobody could say about it but today Mazin Namdekano has brought it to light that the international community are watching and now they are aware that the international community are watching and they, they are jittery. Why are they afraid of the international community if they were right, if there was no lie? If there was no hidden thing, if they were living in their land, if they were doing the right thing, why are they afraid of the international community? Because something is fishy in Asorok. So that is why we are here to expose the lies. Because Nigeria represents a bunch of lies. It is the bunch of um, uh, evil. And of course, we talk about the center of the heart of darkness. And that is why we, the indigenous people of Biafra, this is the land of the rising sun. We have come with the light and we have to show the light from here. And the world has to understand our condition. And that is why Biafra must be restored. Thank you very much. Of course, Biafra must be restored. In case you're just joining us, this is Sunrise Early News Analysis on Biafra Television. Wishing you from Biafra land, I am Ngozi Chukuka. And I have Mazda Bright Oriako with me in the studio this morning. You are welcome once again. Please keep sharing the program. Keep inviting your friends. Um, of course, inform your loved ones about um, Radio Biafra London. They should tune into Radio Biafra London to listen to this program. It's very important. 
Uh, of course, we have a particular headline uh, to discuss this morning. And, uh, according to the headline, it said, Dogara pleaded with reps not to embarrass Buhari. According to the Kerbo, aggrieved lawmakers of the All Progressive Congress APC who did not get tickets to contest in 2019 polls, we are planning to protest against the president. Now, let's look at the headline, pleading them not to embarrass, and then they want to protest. Uh, how did the uh, protest suddenly became, uh, become an embarrassment? Uh, uh, see, or just something behind uh, not, not, the Not protest. to embarrass the president. Be careful. Please don't embarrass him. That is the thing. They, because they are, they, 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 they are something they have wrapped over the years. And uh, of course, it's getting to two years now. They have wrapped something. And of course, they kept that thing in Asorok. And uh, they are begging them, please be careful not to embarrass this thing, not to open it up, not to uh, 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 spill the beans. That is just the thing. So be careful that the man in Asorok, which don't expose him, that is what he's pleading with them. And that is it. Because uh, then he knows that the man in Asorok is not Buhari. And of course, the, 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 you know what the Nigerian media and of course what the our politicians can do to, uh, try, try to twist your mind remember that uh, all the time when we the indigenous people of Biafra agitate when we uh, protest they say it is uh, marginalized youth it is Igbo people they will leave the subject they want to change the subject they tell you now it's the uh, aggrieved PD, uh, APC members and uh, they are protesting and now you see, you see that politicians now protest and that is the, a, a new system in Nigeria where politicians now protest yeah, and that this one, this one is something very new. And of course, they, they, there's a reason why you see them protesting like Krocha. So Krocha who said, uh, if I open my mouth and tell you what is in Asura, okay, no, it's not the same language. So they are now protesting because there is something fishy. And he's begging them, please, we have kept this secret together for long. That is what it simply means. Say, please, we have kept this secret. And it's just some few months. Well, somehow you be compensated. You know it's all about compensation. So it's all about, please, calm down. Let's manage this thing we have put together. We have wrapped together. Let's keep it just a few days ahead. And that is why you see them begging. Because very soon, uh, they, of course, uh, 2019 is already here. And they feel they have nearly succeeded. So that is why you see, please don't embarrass him. Please, let's keep... Uh, the, the, this secret, let's just seal it. I bet it's open, you know. So the international community becomes a problem uh, to them because you see, anything that you do now, the international community are watching. So don't let it open now. The, the way they are, don't confirm what Mazin and the Khan is saying, it's simply what he's telling them. Please just help us, let's manage the situation. Don't confirm what Mazin and the Khan is saying. So that is it. So it's about concealing, it's about sealing that evil, it's about making sure that the evil in our sort of remained. And that is, you see. They are not begging, begging politicians. Politicians are not begging other politicians, and that is the evil. That is the evil they have wrapped for two years, and that is why there is no light shining out. When you want to see light, you are looking towards Nigeria, looking towards a place called Nigeria. You think that light can come from there? You can never see light. When you think hope is coming from there, there is nothing like hope because you have elders who knows that the water is bitter. They know why the water is bitter, but they choose to allow it to remain bitter. For and now they don't care about the future generation. They don't care about anything. They don't even care about their own family. All they want to do is conceal the light because once you have light. You must continue to lie. That is it. So their problem now is how to continue to lie, how to continue to rub the evil and let the evil continue. At least 2019 is at the corner. All right. Thank you very much. Um, let me continue to read what we have here. We'll have to read through what we have from the newspaper. So some People's Democratic Party PDP lawmakers also plotted to partake in the protest. A legislative source said, but the source said during a closed door session on Thursday, the group pleaded with the agreed lawmakers in in which lasted about 12 minutes not to protest against Buhari as he is presenting the 2019 budget proposal. Another source said, after the plea, some of the aggrieved lawmakers submitted their placards to Kawu Sumaila, senior special assistant to the president on National Assembly Matters, House of Representatives. They have started submitting their placards to Kawu, the source said. They are aggrieved. You know, most of them did not get their tickets, and that is why they want to protest. That is the reason for the delay. The joint session was supposed to start at 12 a.m. last week. Some lawmakers in the law in the lower legislative chamber threatened to boycott the budget presentation. Okay, <laughs> you know, I don't believe it. Exactly my point. I, Could I, it be I, just um, not giving them tickets? No, no. The truth is that they wanted to actually reveal the man in Asorok. That is the truth. 
Uh, they wanted to actually review and for a uh, we see a politician coming to beg his uh, uh, other politicians tell me tell, tell you that something is fishy apart from the uh, uh, one that already we knew that took place while uh, uh, in, inside the hall this was a different plan they had a plan and they had already brought out a print uh, pr printed some materials they wanted to use and conduct an international pro because they wanted a protest and they wanted it to be, be seen at the uh, world le level that the international community should actually know what is happening you remember yesterday we talked about the legislatures and of course their rules they do rules have been playing and their failures and i believe there must be one or two people whose conscience of course is beginning to wake up and that must be what happened because there are people whose conscience you know when you people whose conscience die sometimes you just remain one percent or even less uh, less than 0 0.5 percent but something can just tear, tear it up i think that was actually what happened so a good number of them are beginning to reason that actually they have a future they have children and of course they have families because what they are doing actually they make money today but what about the future generation how long will you live to spend this money? How much money do you think you have actually made? And what do you think you will do with this money? Because by the time you have made money, you have made all the money, you have children that have got no future. You, you, your future is not even guaranteed. And you think you are making money. How much money can you really eat, enjoy while you are alive? And of course, you bury, you so, uh, must gauge the future generation, the future of your children. So I believe a good number of them are beginning to reason towards that direction. And they feel that they have done injustice to 200 million people. And I believe one or two of them will say, let us do something about this man in Asorok. So before you see him coming openly to beg, say, please, withdraw the material you are printed for the protest because they actually came out to for a, an open protest and of course they wanted it to be discovered they wanted the international community to see it and you see a big time politician coming out to beg please withdraw your uh, materials telling you that something is fishy and of course it is it, it has gone beyond one man saying i would speak oh, like okorocha was saying if i say it and the another governor there in the west was saying it if i say what i say or what i know in Asorok, you know but this time around it's no longer one or two people i think the number of the people are growing and that is why we need to keep evangelizing we need to keep talking to people because we have human beings who have got dead conscience at least one or two of them could still have a little, maybe low percent, maybe even if it is less than five percent of their conscience, you can still tear it up and make them live and reason like human beings because you are looking for a future generation, you are looking for a life, you think you have children and your children destiny is what you are selling because you are there sitting and you watch evil take place that evil that you watch that is taking place right before your very eyes is going to rest in your home because if you don't do anything about it it's coming straight to your home and that is why a good number of them should uh, at least if you have any little conscience take step expose that in an asterisk say that you know in asterisk let the whole world know it because what Mazin and the Kanu is saying there is clear evidence that the man is not in asterisk is not buried and it is time that everybody that knows something about what is in Asorok should bear his own soul because a time is coming when the whole evil, because they say the evil that men do lives after them. The whole evil that you think you, uh, you are considering today will rest in your own home and you want to wish it away, it will not go away. You want to pray it away, it will not go away. You want to do something to take it away. This is the time you are alive now. You are face to face with this evil. Do your own part. Make sure you bear your own soul. Make sure you save your own head. Save your family by saying something. Say what you know about the man in Asorok. If not there is a problem for you there's a problem for your family redeem yourself redeem your family because 200 million people cannot be suffering the way we are suffering and you think that things will work and of course you think you can see the evil no somebody has got to take responsibility you may be the one and of course you know they are watching us every day you think they're not watching they know what is happening they know what they are doing so that is why the time to change has come and what is that change say the truth that is it because Mazin and the can have li li uh, he, of course the candle is burning the light is shining already all you need to do is be part of the light then you save your own soul all right, thank you very much. At this moment, we'll get connected to our reporter from Ebony State, uh, Mazi Oge Igiri. Let's get connected to him. Hello? Hello, Oge, are you there? Hello, Mazi Oge, can you hear me? Okay, we lost the call. Uh, maybe he will try and call back so that he can give his report. 
All right, so still on that, um, in case you're just joining us, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. And of course, in 15 minutes, our lines will be open for you to call in and uh, make your own contribution. It's very important. Let's hear you. What do you have to say? The National Assembly uh, planned a protest to disgrace or to embarrass the man in Asura, to embarrass Buhari. And um, I don't really understand when, uh, since when protest became an embarrassment. Uh, there are things they are not telling us. You know, the placard, the, none of them, none of the placard was, uh, you know, revealed. They just uh, collected everything and never allowed the, uh, the public to see it. Of course. I think there is something uh, hidden. It's very serious. As hidden as what is in Asorok. Something very, very serious. The process has never been halted before. Of course. And uh, you know that uh, a good number of them there are still looking for chances to make money. And of course, you know that the bullying method, they have actually lent it. And of course, you want something from government today, you tell them, I will say, I will, say, I will talk. Oh. Just go there and tell them, I will talk. Oh. And they will call, take you by the corner and uh, maybe give you your own share or maybe promise you a position and all that. So, you see, a lot of issues, are go uh, things are happening in Asorok. And the primary thing is that they know what is in Asorok. They know the, the man in Asorok. And it becomes a problem because, you know, uh, 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 they have been planning to go there. And, uh, you know, when the, at the initial stage, you know what Nigerian politics is. Uh, uh, their positions, key positions that individuals have been eyeing. And, of course, uh, every politician that have uh, uh, the information, clear information about the man in Asorok would actually want to use it, uh, for, uh, of course, to gain advantage and look for a position. And of course, you know that uh, uh, there are so many of them there today in Asorok that know what is happening. So it becomes problem because all the positions, you know, they have taken, uh, already shared them. All right, let's go connected to Oge. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, good morning. Welcome to this program this morning. Thank you very much. Sorry, it's due to the epileptic zoo uh, network. Of course. Adjo Rako, good morning from here. Good morning, my brother. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, So, uh, the, the, when you're talking about failure, everything has failed. And nothing was working, nothing is working, and nothing is going to work. And that is why when our leader said that Nigeria is not working. Nigeria actually never worked, and it's not going to work. And for you to redeem your soul, for you to save your own soul, meaning you need to stand up and, of course, identify yourself. Because you can only, things can only work when you identify yourself as an indigenous person. Know who your village, know your father, because you get back to the root and restore things from the root. But thinking that things will work from up, and of course that is where the, the Nigeria is the way it is. They make things work from up. Only everybody is going to Abuja. Except you get to Abuja, except you know one Alahaji, nothing works. And that is why you see that uh, the positions were not enough. And of course, there are so many people now that have clustered in Abuja, looking for something, looking for something to loot. It's about looting. And of course, when there's nothing, when they see that the whole positions have been taken, the looting have taken place, and most people have taken all their portions, and nothing is left, you see them now thinking of what to do. And of course, it's also time that people need to wake up and uh, say, talk about what is in Asorok. So that becomes a point. Remember that uh, the few, if, uh, a few days ahead, they'll be talking about 2019, and of course, see how things are working. Uh, negatively because no, the uh, 2019 election is never going to be held. So for that reason, politicians themselves want to tell the world why things are not working. Because there is a reason why things are not working. If he says, okay, it is because uh, they didn't get ticket for 2019, okay, let's assume that it's because they didn't get ticket for 2019. But what is that thing they want to protest about? Why didn't you allow the protest to go on? Because, okay, if you didn't say, okay, they are grieved. And they are grieved that something has gone wrong and they didn't get tickets. And, okay, they now feel, okay, for that reason, we are going to protest. And you are begging. What is the reason for the protest? When they were going to protest, what did they want to tell the world? What is that thing? 
that is hearing us wrong that the world must know that each time politicians are angry they want to go out and say it and you see a good number of them will come behind the scene and start begging please don't do this just don't do this and it tells you that what Mazin Namdekano had been saying about the man in Asorok these are evidences you have clearer evidences you see it in their body language you see it in the, uh, 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 the kind of politics they do you see it in everything you see that the man in Asorok is not Buhari that is the clear evidence. So politicians themselves are beginning to act it out. I begin because you know they have kept silent for a long time, and of course they have been dying in silence. A good number of them have been less privileged. They have not actually enjoyed because you know they, they, they are two men, powerful men there in Asura. So they have not actually enjoyed like these two powerful men. And of course, you know one thing in the know that everybody likes power. They like so much power. They want to be in charge, and that is it. So when they are not in charge, they feel less privileged, and they want to do something about it. They want to. Uh, blackmail if possible they want to tell the truth if possible they want to do everything to make sure that they are included in the evil and you see because they are all part of the evil they know what is happening so they need that to be included and that is why you see them thinking about protests and uh, why would they abandon the protest if they were serious they abandoned the protest because they simply wanted to bully so that was a bullying method they wanted to use because if they actually meant business they would have gone ahead and had a protest and then the world will know for once who is in Asorok. All right, thank you very much. Of course, the world needs to know who is in Asura. You know, you made mention of the two powerful men. Uh, well, remember the, um, the first lady said something about two powerful men uh, who are running the government. Of course, uh, and from them, if you, must lick, if you must get anything, you have to lick their shoes. You just need to go there, lick their shoes. But who are these two powerful men they are talking about? You know, uh, the, uh, our leader made mention of Abba. And of course, remember that uh, all this while, you see that everything about the, 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 he has actually become the president. Because everything you talk about in the evil contraction today, is like he actually is the man behind every the scene. He, this man seems to be so powerful. And of course, he has been at the background of evils, a lot of evils. And of course, you see that uh, these men are co much connected to the uh, 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 Sokoto Caliphate. So, when you are talking about powerful people, they are people with great influence that know the secrets, that know every secret in Asorok. And of course, they have the contact of who is who, of the, all the conspirators, and of course, all those uh, people who are involved in the game. So, you are talking about people who have sold their own soul. So, you're looking at a cabal, and now these are just the representative of the cabals. So, the men in Asorok, the real cabals in Asorok are operating, and of course, they have two heads, and of course, pro operating directly, you talk about the Abakia that have become so powerful, that is it. So, for the Sokoto Caliphate, you're looking at the north, look at the Sokoto Caliphate, and of course, if you want to understand, look deep, and you go back to 1804, you understand why things are happening the way they are happening. You, are, you know about why the Fulani henchmen are killing you know why Boko Haram cannot be stopped you know that is it because there's a background there's a terrorism that have been planning you have a terrorist government who are running and they can feed anybody they can use anybody they can use any character to just remain in our sorrow but the real game is played behind is played behind the scene they are men they call themselves powerful men whose shoes you must leak to get anything to gain anything in our sorrow so that is why they will matter what you do you are thinking you are acting uh, fighting uh, buhari you are thinking, calling buhari all the time you are praying and you are praying uh, call, mentioning buhari you are wasting your time it doesn't get to him it doesn't touch him it doesn't feel it because that is not the person running your government there are two powerful men behind the scene and that is why the more you cry out the more you pray thinking you are talking to buhari you are talking to the wrong person the only thing you can do is to look back get back to your identity know who you are, identify your root and of course rise as a person that is the only way you can talk about revolution. That is the only way you can talk about democracy because when you talk about democracy, it is only when the power of the people are able to rise, when the people are able to get back to their roots and they get back to their communities and they're able to organize themselves and you have a revolution that can be able to overpower the present government. Then you can talk about revolution. But the way things are going, it is only the indigenous people of Biafra that are ready to move on, that are ready to practice democracy. That is why the two powerful men must remain in the north. All right, thank you very much. Of course, we'll talk about the two powerful men in the north. And then you ask yourself, does it mean there are no people in the south? Why is it that nobody in the south is among these powerful men? Because we talked about Abakiara, we also know about Maman Daura. Of course. There's two powerful men in Asorok. Yes, uh, if you look at it towards the south, 
from the day one you look at all the time when issues serious issues have happened in the south and you look at the south and you don't just see you see them of course they are treated as conquered people is it not uh, down there in uh, the uh, uh, southwest you see uh, a, an imam of, instead of an oba you know there you uh, i mean uh, 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 you see instead of an oba you have the the emir in well, a state that is because that place have been conquered they are seen as conquered territory and of course in biafra land we know that uh, biafra is no longer part of the system for a long time even during the uh, for when buhari was alive when he made his appointment the uh, biafra land was not considered in the first place because would they already know that we are biafra and of course what they simply want to do is uh, run uh, if they uh, there's anybody they want to uh, of course put in their government they hire you like a missionary and you just do some duties for them and of course maybe you they have a one hour uh, half cast one hour uh, uh, person who has a name they will include in their government and uh, less than five percent we know that that was what uh, happened but you see in the case of the southwest uh, that is where you have a very big challenge because these people had uh, seen, considered as conquered territory they are seen of course as people whose uh damfodios uh, uh islamization agenda 1904 touched and of course they have they are seen as conquered people so they are not they don't even bother about them and of course in all that happened this they have never raised their head once there has never been a time when they raised their head when anything serious you can say they, they, that these people that's why you see the likes of Bola, Bola Tunubu. when you're talking about the man in Asurok today you talk about the, uh, he was empowered by Bola Tunubu because he is a Muslim now, of course he is loyal every pe person you see in Southwest is loyal to the core Muslim North and of course the core Muslim North are seen to be holy ones are seen to be the righteous ones are seen to be the owners of these ones in the southwest and that is why they don't consider them of course in their religion they don't consider them because you're talking about islamization agenda and these ones are just being conquered so they have no voice they can only look for one or two people who are loyal to them like the likes of uh, Bola Tinubu who uh, you know how the man in Asuroko imagine we know that and of course you know the likes of obasanjo of course in the last broadcast our leader said it that see this man you see today well, have been loyal to uh, the North northern caliphate from the genesis because he uh, voted against awolowu and voted for him uh, another uh, person that is it so the uh, southwest cannot you cannot have their voice here because they have already conquered territories but you can only talk about biafra land with indigenous people of biafra our case is already settled the international community know us and of course the house fulani also know us and our, we, our case is already defined we are a different nation we are a different country all it, 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 it takes is for us to stand up and actually take what belongs to us because freedom is not given freedom is taken so they, they are waiting because each time we talk about our freedom you see them coming to intimidate us you see them coming with the bullying method you see them coming with uh, they, they, they are ak-47 they actually want to test if we are ready to defend ourselves if we are ready to be uh, biafra if we are ready so that is why you see them each time we talk about referendum they say no you, you are even wasting your time talking about referendum we already know you all we are looking for is are you ready to defend yourself so when you talk about referendum they tell you you are asking for war because that is what they have defined that's okay until you defeat us in war you cannot be free that is the definition of our salmon and that is why we keep talking about what our position we are the indigenous people of biafra biafra was a country therefore has always been a country and of course we can defend ourselves but the truth about it is that we need to let the international community understand what is happening because it is about education it's about the world knowing what is happening in west africa the world must understand our position and the world must contribute their own quota of course give us the right for recognition because when it is time to defend ourselves we can actually defend ourselves so you don't see them talking about the west of course the south because they see themselves as the sole owners of the evil contraction called Nigeria, which has been handed over to them by the British government. All right, thank you very much. At this moment, we will be going on a short break. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. And of course, when we return, our lines will be open for you to call in and make your contribution. Thank you very much. For the love of mankind, ooh. For the love of freedom, ooh. For the love of Jupu, for the love of my country, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. 
Then my call Nigeria Can nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of a country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home Breathing came like a thief in the night Like a thief in the night Nigeria came like a thief in the night Like a thief in the night The boat just came like thieves in the night Mud rose monsters came like a thief To kill and steal and to keep us down Kill baby, kill baby, dry fry oil Dry fry oil, make the world go round Makes me wonder what the hell is going on Why are they killing our people for our oil? Nigeria killing their fans for their land First it was oil, now it's cow colony Mieti Allah, another terror group Fulani hands men killing everywhere Boko Haram too, it's all about the killing 18 terror, come from the north Nigeria army, never for the war Killing Bia Francis, all they're ever known for Killing Bia Francis, all they're ever known for Unarmed civilians and safe around them The war looked the other way like it was nothing United Nations very hypocritical They ain't saying shit, they are partners in crime We're crossing girls, so we still see the light Hey, they are walking my Biafra spirit Loved and blessed by God Almighty Nothing can stop Biafra from coming Not even Britain killing our people But drink Biafra France in bloody cold blood Britain, go back to where you came from Man, please don't do what you did on the land We are freedom town, land of milk and honey Can nobody take away God from us Like a thief in the night Ooh Love of Ikenga, ooh. For the love of our spirit, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. Then my call Nigeria, can nobody take you away? What we got going on for the love of our country? I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth. There's no place like home. We are never giving up on our country, Piafra, for no fear of violence, death. War, Britain, how to follow the knees or their terror groups. That will not happen, it's never gonna happen. For Biafra is life and freedom herself. On Biafra we stand, we out of here. You are now rocking with a king for the love of my country. Biafra featuring DJ Whiskey. I know Holy. Ooh. For the love of my Biafra. Ooh. For the love of our kingdom. Ooh. For the love of our holy land, ooh. For the love of my country, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. From my cool Nigeria, can nobody take you away? What we got going on? For the love of our country, I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth. There's no place like home. Ooh. Touch me, shake me, wake me up. Love me, hate me, do what you gotta do I really wanna wake up from this nightmare Then my call Nigeria, can nobody take you away What we got going on for the love of our country I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth There's no place like home Ooh, ooh For the love of mankind, ooh for the love of freedom, ooh. For the love of Chupu, ooh. For the love of my country, I really wanna wake up from this nightmare. Then my call Nigeria, can nobody take you away? What we got going on? For the love of a country, I traveled everywhere on the face of this earth. There's no place like home, ooh. Came like a thief in the night, 
like a thief in the night. Nigeria came like a thief in the night, like a thief in the night. The bojos came like thieves in the night. Mud rose monsters came like a thief to kill and steal and to keep us down. Kill baby, kill baby, drive for our oil. Drive for our oil, make the world go round. Makes me wonder what the hell is going on. Why are they killing our people for our oil? Nigeria killing their fans for their land. First it was oil, now it's cow colony. Mieti Allah, another terror group. Fulani hands men killing everywhere. Boko Haram too, it's all about the killing. Eighteen terror come from the north. Nigeria army never for the war. Killing their Francis, all they're ever known for. Killing their Francis, all they're ever known for. On armed civilians and safe around them. The war lived the other way like it was nothing. United Nations very hypocritical. They ain't saying shit, they are partners in crime. We trust in girls, so we still see the light. Hey, they are walking my beer for a spirit. Loved and blessed by God Almighty. Nothing can stop Biafra from coming. Not even Britain killing our people. Murdering their friends in bloody cold blood. Britain. Welcome back. You are still watching Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. Of course, we are here to expose the man in Asarok, unmask the man in Asarok. Uh, we had a report yesterday, according to uh, Nigerian Dailies, about the president going into prison the 2018 budget, and of course, uh, amidst a rowdy session. And according to report, according to Daily Post, said why he entered, uh, we are. Uh, chance from the protesters and they all are singing freedom by struggle by struggle we need freedom so what really what freedom are they talking about uh, you see the people know the truth and of course politicians also know the truth in as much as they are deadly and they are looking for their own interests they know the truth all right we'll have a call on the phone hello Okay, well, as a call, so, go ahead, so please. Don't think that those men you see there don't have families. Don't think so. Don't think that they don't have villages. It's in as much as they went to Abuja and, of course, uh, they saw fantasy and they, they now loved the international community, uh, going to London to build houses and, of course, building mansions in Abuja. They still have villages. And occasionally they go hello, to Hello, good villages. morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Call on WhatsApp. <coughs> hello? Hello, good morning. Go ahead. Welcome to the program. Yeah, please welcome. Uh, my name is uh, Ilo Jerry. I'm calling from Switzerland. I'm from Enugu. From Enugu. I have something that is bothering me, which I want to share. Uh, since we started this moving, 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 moving up of Biafra from Nigeria. I never see my people from down Enugu Oji River participating for Biafra. And it's paining me so much. It's paining me so much. I have called, I have go to Facebook and talk. I have called them, see what is happening. But then nobody listening to me every time. They are telling me PDP, APC. So I want if there is any opportunity to get these people to tell them see what is going on because we in Swiss here we know what is going on we know we are fighting for this Biafra and we, we must get Biafra Biafra have already come to stay because we are not happy what is going on we are not happy that our people are seeking asylum all over the country we are not happy that our people are dying in the sea we are not happy that white people are insulting us but people in down east there in my in our land in oji river actually they are not participating for biafra hello yeah go ahead yeah, this is what I just want to put to uh, to Radio Biafra, to please to share it to the people of Ache, people of Oji River, people of Enugu, to participate for this Biafra because this Biafra is for us. It, it cannot fight what you you will eat today. You cannot fight what we eat today. Then you will not eat again. You will fight what your generation will eat, what your children will eat, what your children children will eat. Look at where we are today. Everywhere their father have fight everything for them. They have everything in the land. They don't know what is God's self. But people are there praying, calling God because of 
because of when you call God, if God pay you see the way you can go, you will not go it because of ten thousand, because of five thousand, because of two thousand, you will say you are better right. I later realize and say, ah, are we Esau or Jacob which say uh, his better right through Jeep, uh, through uh, porridge yam? Are we say our better right through porridge yam? You can collect ten thousand and so you are better right because of you want to vote uh, anybody to rule you. Nobody will rule us again. We must get our Biafra. Biafra have come to stay. I have dreamed about this Biafra two times. Two times that Biafra come to stay. stay. I'm regretting why I'm not in IPOP. Then I go and register for IPOP. I started following IPOP up because I regretted it in my dream. Now, I regretted it in my dream, but now I have joined it, so I will not regret it. I will not regret it again. So okay, help me much. take people of Ojiriva, Ojiriva people, Enugu state. Please, enough is enough. Let us come and participate for the Alpha because All right, thank it's you very much. what of God wants. Evangelism is going on, and uh, we know people there, uh, they are coming up. Of uh, course, uh, we'll also get to them. Call on the phone. Hello. Hello, good morning. Thank you, good morning. What's the name you are calling from? Yes, uh, man, the, sorry, I can be good morning, my brother. 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 my brother. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, my brother. Therefore, it's a heavenly mandate. Even if the whole of Imo State, Enugu or Anambra did uh, not support this uh, struggle, because to call them as your enemy, Biafra must come. If Biafra has not come to stay, my director wouldn't have, have the opportunity to achieve this huge success by now. So let us know the complainers who, who, who are not voting, who are, who, who are not supporting the struggle. To call them as your enemy, this struggle to be achieved. It doesn't matter who, who is supporting us. If, if the whole of uh, Imo State refuses to support this struggle, it must come because the problem has been it. I want to thank all of you for your resoluteness. You guys should also remain living. Nobody thank should fall and I welcome your opinion. That is the one of you. Even if I didn't support the other. Even if Uchi uh, uh, did not support the other. Please, the problem has been it. It must come. It must come. I want to thank you, Uchima, for whatever you are. I love you so much. You are you are one in a million, Uchima. And I want to thank you for being my friend like this. I want to thank him for giving us someone like him to come. We have suffered here in Jaffa alone. Young men are not employed. Young men are not able to marry a woman. I speak it for some ladies who are getting older. They don't have hope anymore. Men are not married because there is no job. You see them walking around, women will be, on, they will not be happy with us because they don't know that men don't have money to marry them. But how will you tell them this? That the coming of Biafra will give us hope. A lot of us hope for this Biafra. And we will not be disappointed in the name of the Colonel You see? You see? <laughs> Thank you very much. Of course, uh, we will not be disappointed. Biafra must be restored. We have another caller there on the phone. Hello? Hello, call on the phone. Good morning, Matthew. Oriago. Can you please speak up? We cannot hear you. Yeah, good morning, Mazi Oriago. I'm the Mazi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bless you, people. Bless you, too. This morning, Juku Okikadema received his praise in adoration and adoration in the name of Juku Okikadema. Let you go to our place, the whole special officers of the IPOC, and I was bringing me the Mazin Nam the Kano, and I was able to do it in my form. My name is Chief. I am from Abate. Abate in one of the local comments, he must get to Jaffa. Put it in our in Jaffa land. My brother, I love what you people are doing, I think this morning. Biafra is the kingdom of God on earth. I don't know whether people are reading what our director says. Our director says, is that prayer that Yahweh should have prayed? 
father that you let your way be done and your kingdom come. That is Biafra. So, and our director made us clear that if Tuko Kiabema directed to the only hundred men who is righteous and enslaved us, not everybody come, all the Aburo shall be no. Biafra is selecting these people, the kingdom of God is selecting the people who work for the kingdom of God. Not everybody come. Many are called, but the few are chosen. But what I want to tell them, whether anybody come out or anybody does not come out, Biafra must restore. Because okay. nobody will write an agenda for his creator. Because Biafra is the kingdom of God and nobody will stop it. But I want to tell them, Biafra is going to be a judgment to the whole world. Biafra is going to be a judgment to the kingdoms. Biafra is going to be a judgment to the uh, 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 countries and nations. Biafra is going to be a judgment to the pastors, priests, and the reverend father and bishop, whatever they may answer. Biafra will be a judgment to uh, call themselves intellectual, educated, and illiterate, what, whatever they may call themselves. Because Biafra is a divine project. Mazi, Awi, Akahande, Ngozi, the Chupo them are blessed you people. Let the whole priest and officer survive Biafra. Biafra is here already. The kingdom of God is here already. Nobody will stop it. It's too okay, Adama. Bless you, people. You see, you see, bless you too. Thank you very much. Of course, Biafra has come to stay, and nothing can be done about it. It has come to stay. Okay, so we're talking about their chant freedom, freedom comes by struggle. What does it mean? Are they really freedom fighters? Why? Um, freedom from who are they actually? Uh, what message are they trying to pass? Uh, of course, uh, the, 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 they are aware that the international community are watching. And of course, they are sending message to the international community because they are already the one in Asorok who we are supposed to sit down and hello? read these things. Yes, hello. hello. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Uh, good morning, Kaya. Thank you. My name is Friend Ogwemi. I'm calling you from Ugota Province in Yafa, and I'm from Olo. In that fellow's LG, we do cook the same in Yafa. I just want to say a very big thank you to you people there. Who are giving us and the life of us. And I want to say a very big thank you to our brother, Margaret Bright, and Father Rosie. God, the people of Father will continue to guide you to and protect you. I've seen him back on this struggle to restore the land of the altar. People are trying a lot for us. And I pray that the people of Father will give us the wisdom and understanding to continue because the work is not yet done. Let everybody double and so forth. Because we are going to get us to our promised land. We thank our leader, Margin and the family, the one who will be the one of the other land. We thank the captain who has sent him to come and help us, to come and show us the way. And we pray that that people who have him and who sent him will continue to give him every, every, every effort that we shall leave this country and call the Zerological Republic of Nigeria. So you people should keep on doing the work we are doing, and we are doing our own. But she will carry on our efforts. God, she will carry on our leaders. And everybody, I want to urge our people, as we all are going to travel this airport and for the new year, anybody that travels should continue with the evangelism. Any of your brother, any of your sister that has come back, try to let him know what you are doing. Try to enlighten the person and tell him that the author is the only way. That all this suffering that we are passing through. That the author is the only way. If I do that, I don't know if our people is going to know. So that is what I want to order our people. As we are going to come back this next month and new year, try, everybody, try and get that people, and one or two people, try and tell them this is what is going on, this is what we are doing, this is what we are trying to do. We want to come out from this new world, Nigeria. We are, our people are talking a lot. They are talking about it here, and they are still doing a lot of nonsense. How can you tell me that God is the best in his best way without his wife or his children beside him? And you are telling me that that one is God. Our people are so stupid and I don't know what is wrong with our men of our people that they could not understand what you are telling them. But we thank you for your understanding of the people for us because this was for him. I don't know why you are doing that now. Thank you, people, and God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have another caller on the phone. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Go ahead. 
Hello. Sorry, uh, we have another caller there. You have to call back and please, when you call, ensure you turn down the volume of your listening device. Hello. Call on the phone. Hello. Yes, good morning. What's the name you are calling Hi. from? Good morning. Good morning to you. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Please hey, stop hey, listening hey. to your device. We okay, can hear good you. Good morning. Good morning. My brother, yes, good morning. Good morning, my brother. I thank you for good work you are doing for us. May you go to Kabia and address you and your family. Thank you. First thing I want to say this morning is that I am 100% sure that it's right coming, that nobody will stop it. Nobody born of a woman, nobody born of a woman can stop the Afra from very much. But one problem is this so-called preachers, our so-called pastors and reverend fathers, who refuse to see, who refuse to understand uh, what type of friend these people have. Because now they're supposed to understand that Biafra, that nobody can stop it. They're supposed to know that Biafra is ordained by Chikur Kikadiyama. But that they can never, they, they did not succeed in killing our leader. How for those Christians, those reverend fathers and pastors, they believe that our leader will come to Israel without a visa. Is it not the work of God? Please, I want them to repent. This pastor, any reverend father that is hearing my voice, this is a Catholic. Any reverend father that is hearing my voice this morning, please preach to our fathers, preach to our bishops. Let them to understand that we are suffering. Let them to understand that the only thing we need is the Afra. Nigeria is not, we are not a Nigeria and we can never be a Nigeria. No matter how much they try to be a Nigeria, we can never be a Nigeria. Because Nigeria is a business. Is it, is it possible for Grunet to, to turn into a country or MTN? But they turn Niger, Royal Niger country into a Nigeria. You people are certainly rejoicing that you are a Nigeria. Nigeria that is not working for five years, Nigeria is not working. If you look into the future of Nigeria, in the future Nigeria can never work. Nigeria is not one and can never be one. It is impossible because people in Nigeria might be not created to one. So it, we cannot be one at all. Please, my Reverend Father, sir, Bishop, repent and understand what you are, what we are fighting for. Uh, join us and fight this for the victors of our unborn children. It's for you because the affair is coming. It's better for you to join us now so that on that day when we are, we are celebrating our independence, all of us will be dancing together with the happiness because nobody will stop it. If you join, the affair must come. If you join, the affair must come. So please join us. Please, I will take my people in my time, please. Umunne munde lo kuku, ujeze. And I make a little work to work a innocent, and then they look on a pop. At my several Bununa Mana, whom you see, I have Bambo, a Kamuroma, a Kawadi again, a Kamuroma, Arabia, one number, but three, a Kaina, and I have seen and I was and then I die in Enugu Pasako Road. When we choose to go to the Pana last December, you were bound to go there by Gabiaga. ハイドラルドマラドゥトエンダウサネレパハコンタリウエジンガトトハスナパワドゥトデムソフィトウニバフォデンマノロデンマノウエバフノナエドウミケゼニメンディネフィレクシンデンパパンタウジシケパンボカ